uh, good evening uh, all the dignitary all the my senior uh, and the colleagues today i am presenting of uh, a topic which is a uh, little bit uh, discussed is infected gap known in of both bone of the leg comparative analysis of the bone transport and mesial technique and this work is done in pj rotak before i was uh, in pj rotak with dr uh, rajesh rohila so we both uh, have this surgery and we, uh, i can uh, i conclude uh, the problems of or introduction of the uh, topic then the objectives methodology result and uh, observation discussion and summary in my slides so uh, the objective of our study is to evaluate efficacy of treatment in form of functional and bone uh, results then the comparison of elizaro bone transport and mesial technique in infected non inono tibia so we have 25 patient with uh, infected non inono tibia with bone transport technique in group 1 have 13 patient and mesial technique had 12 patient in group 2 the study was conducted in january 26 to december 20 2018 and the patient was selected by randomized by cheat method then approved by the institute ethical board we have in excluded patient with periarticular non union fracture with pathology and fracture with some bone disorder which uh, hamper the healing then other disab uh, disabilities with deep bleeding disorders like chronic uh, disease or underlying hormonal disorder and the other thing is intraoperative bone gap is more than 6 cm we are we were excluded in these case cases from the study so the demographic profile of the both the group were uh, similar and there no difference of the uh, Uh, by static uh, statistics in, uh, in both the group so p value is not more effective so we have more than uh, more female patient than female because the polytrauma in the more in more male patient in that area then the classification is uh, we have cl gustulo classification which is more patient as third a and third b group the mean intraoperative bone gap is uh, like uh, almost equal 3.92 and 3.7 in both the group and not significant uh, it, it is not significant uh, biostatically only the parameters which are different which are fixator parameters so the duration of fixator then fixator index type of fixator and the need of fixator adjustment are both are different in both the group then gain in the mean length which is 3.85 and 3.7 in both the group the function results we have a comparison table uh, with the past literature so only we, we have only one study which tong and at all which we compare the both the uh, methods uh, bone transport and the mesial technique otherwise uh, people had the work of different entity in different uh, studies so there no comparison group uh, for the the more comparison group for the same study so the we, we compare the study with the only lizaro or the mesial group so the functions are uh, almost equal in excellent good and fair but we have some poor results in the mesial group the bone results are uh, parallel to the other study but in the mesial group we have a uh, little bit um, poor result than the ibt in some cases we have uh, this mesial technique case 1 this case 2 with good function result but not the yield uh, as compared to the ibt we also published this uh, study in uh, last year in uh, <coughs> surgery and uh, orthotrauma surgery so we have discussed that primary and utmost principle is to eradicate infection in any kind of the uh, entity then we have to fix with stable fixation both the method either and the, we can do bone grafting or bone generation by the both the method then the in mesial technique we have some advantage of we can do small bones in periarticular fracture where elizaro it is not it is feasible but not easy then the ibt we have both osseous and soft tissue defect simultaneously so it is a single time procedure and we can uh, do it properly then the uh, mesial technique addresses bone defect incorporating two stages so we have to be take patient in long time than the other technique there is no medical literature which compare the different techniques with the single uh, time so comparative evaluation is uh, not extensive in our study so 
both surgical modality resulting excellent to good outcome in the infected cap known in tibia with their ounce pros and cons ibd addresses infection deformity muscular skeletal loss and limb length discrepancy simultaneously the some function and radiological results were comparable but more reliable in the ibd group the fixed duration and non union was slightly more in mesclitecni despite of the less bone gap a larger prospective study or a multi central trial we have to need for the proper uh, hypothesis or a proper results then longer follow up is also recommended thank you